How you doing? Here to talk about the hosted video surveillance solution, which we have shown right here. Uh, the hosted video surveillance solution basically enables customers to leverage the power of the cloud for their video surveillance infrastructure. Uh, there are two parts of it that EMC provides. One is the iMega uh, IX and PX series line. And the second is hosted video services that we sell uh, white label uh, through resellers uh, for uh, customers to, to purchase. Uh, the system basically allows you to take uh, access video cameras and stream them both into the cloud as well as to a local iMega box uh, so that you can keep local storage at a high def, high frame rate like you would want and you can put out into the cloud your long range, long retention time, uh, compliance requirement video so that uh, you don't have to stack up DVRs, you don't have to uh, have a, a very large uh, capital outlay and really operate from an OPEX model where you pay a reseller uh, systems integrator by the month per camera uh, for your infrastructure. It allows uh, customers uh, to leverage what we call the time value of data. So the time value of data says that in general the data that I create today is more important than the data I created say six months ago. Say I created a new PowerPoint file today that file is more important to me than the one I created six months ago. Not always but usually. Same is true in video. The video that's being stored right now, that's being recorded right now, is more important than the video that was stored, say, six months ago. Again, that's not always true, but usually. So if I'm being robbed, if there's an incident at my facility, if there was a flood or a fire, you know, I would like that video to be in the highest frame rate, highest resolution possible. So that's how you leverage the iMega boxes that are stored on site. Uh, they can handle any uh, frame rate or resolution uh, required by the customer and for as much uh, time as you want. These boxes go from anywhere from uh, a, a one terabyte mirrored up to a 36 terabyte RAID configuration. So again, you could have as much as you want. And the one, and the one terabyte mirrored box is a, is a uh, box that retails uh, for less than $200. Uh, so anyone can get involved in, uh, again, the cloud environment for a very small uh, potential capital outlay. And then how the customer interacts with the uh, system is through a web browser. So here I have a web browser that is uh, showing some live video. Again, with the power of the cloud, I'm able to show video from various locations all on the same screen without having to log into multiple locations. For each camera or, or storage device, you'll see a settings screen. I can go onto that settings screen for the storage device and see the health of that storage, how much storage is being used, uh, and make changes there. I can also look at the cameras. And I'll pick a camera here that's right here at the trade show floor. And I can save now here two files, one local network and one off-site. So the local network's going to this box here, and I'm storing that you know, for one month at four, four, 640 by 480 at 15 frames per second. And then in the cloud, I'm storing it for a week at 320 by 240 at one frame per second. I can change those based on subscriptions that I have with my reseller. And as you see here, it's not limited to any frame rate or resolution. It's all what you have negotiated with your reseller for what you need. And for the local storage, I can store, it's, it's, uh, it's not limited by bandwidth. So I can store it at 720p, uh, 1080p, at 30 frames per second if I want. Uh, and have that storage there for as long as I want, providing I have as much uh, storage in the device as I need. So it takes a, a, uh, a system that a typical DVR, say four camera, five camera system, up into an enterprise class system. So how does it do that? When a camera becomes unavailable, whether because someone turned it off by accident, it was, uh, it was uh, destroyed, or it's simply stopped working, the reseller, the systems integrator, will know that immediately. In fact, the, the, the store owner or the business owner can know that immediately too and get an email alert saying this camera is no longer available. Uh, this is our first foray into the cloud surveillance, if you will. Uh, it right now provides that uh, video surveillance as a service offering through resellers. Uh, but going forward, we, uh, we plan on bringing in analytics that will be cloud-based, access control, uh, potentially point of sale, and these types of things that will allow customers to expand their presence in the cloud and bottom line, operate at a, at a much reduced cost. The whole idea is that this is a lower cost of ownership, uh, lower, lower total cost of ownership for the customer uh, by leveraging the cloud and have a higher availability of video surveillance.